there are, uh, yeah. okay. there are different steps in, uh, in this long path. The first one is when you realize uh, that you have the disillusion uh, and you realize that uh, the symptom of feel and uh, courage that they don't work anymore. And uh, you don't have a... Have a you have a, 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 perform, a per, sexual life that is reward, rewarding. Uh, you are uh, actually my girlfriend that time she left me. So <laughs> this is written in the American blog uh, about prostatectomy and consequences. <laughs> I want to so, make you. I want to make you just a little question. Yeah. Uh, how many physician? How many doctor told you after the radical no, prostatectomy I, that? Is, exist the possibility to solve the problem with the prosthesis? No, no as, I, as I mentioned before, not, not only they didn't uh, face uh, absolutely about the sexual life problems, but they were concentrated only on the consequences of the operation, the surgical intervention. I had some problem in my left leg for the lymphadenectomy, so I saw a huge number of doctors, but actually they don't have it. They don't have the knowledge and they don't have a, I can say, the sensitivity, the feeling of approaching this problem. Because uh, I can remark this about the, this last uh, two, 20 minutes of a conversation among us. I heard too much times the referring to the intercourse. This is not so important. If you want to approach in the correct way the patient, it's much better you talk to his self-confidence in his body. Because the exactly. best experience I have after implantation is when I have a shower, when I dress up, when I touch myself that I feel that I have a a penis, a penis back. Uh, that is uh, consistent. If I uh, just like to uh, touch uh, a girl in the in the bus, uh, I I have something, and uh, I don't have the, that incredible, horrible thing that you have uh, yeah. when you are totally impotent. So zero and flush it completely day and night. This is the worst. The worst experience that uh, a man can have doesn't 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 have any relation with the sexual intercourse. I don't I don't have a girlfriend now, but uh, I feel absolutely confident in myself. I have friends. I'm afraid. I'm I'm, I'm sorry that I couldn't br bring with me a friend of mine. That she was uh, my, she was my girlfriend about ten years ago, but she followed me during this path as a friend so she had the possibility to touch to see to help me and so maybe next time we meet i try to bring her because she can maybe she can answer something that i that i i don't i don't know i don't remember so i would uh, mm, suggest you to uh, approach question. the patient another question yeah. how did you find the solution. Being a doctor for me was a, a typical technical solution. So I, I called a friend of mine that's a zoologist. I asked him how much experience do you have about the plantation. He gave me the name uh, of Francesco and Francesco gave me the name Francesco of Francesco is the, the, the specialist the from, from, from DBI. Yeah, from so DBI. this is something that it's something that can happen to you because doctors can arrive at you earlier than to the implantologist. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because you are the representative of MS from Boston, no? mm -hmm. so if I'm a doctor, so I'm afraid. So first, I ask: uh, Is this guy exper expert? How is the casistic of this guy? So, being a doctor, I'm more suspicious, of course. Then uh, uh, I sent a radiologist to a, a congress in Stockholm, in Sweden. And and he Copenhagen somewhere in the North Europe. And when he, a professor at the university is an oncologist, and when he came back, he told me, well, the best implanters in, uh, expert in Italy is Gabriele Antonini, for sure. 
So I had the double Francesco and the, the...